All right. So in this video, I'll show you how to configure just in time access for VM access. Okay. So to configure just in time access or JIT. Okay. So we'll go to the Microsoft Defender first. Or let's first create a virtual machine before we can configure it for a virtual machine access. So let's create a VM. And for this demo, I'll create a Linux VM. Ubuntu should be fine. One virtual CPU, one GP RAM is fine. And over here, I'll put the username and password. Okay, and I'll click on create. Okay, so this will create my virtual machine. It has initialized the deployment. Okay, it's gone to deployment now. So next thing I need to do is I need to go to Defender. So Microsoft Defender for cloud. And then I need to go to environment settings. Expand this. And let me enable the uh, defender plan because in basic defender, you don't get some just in time access or JIT. So we need to go to defender plan. We need to enable it. Okay, so here we can see there is an option to enable all plans. So I'll click on this. Okay, and it will enable defender, write the enhanced plan, right, which comes with the workload security. I'll go with the first one. I'll just save. Okay, and everything is turned on. So you can save over here as well. So first step is to enable the defender plan. Then only you will get just in time access in Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Okay. Let's wait for this to get enabled. Okay, so next let's go to workload protection. And in workload protection, we need to search for just in time access. So here we have just in time access. And we don't have any VMs which is configured with just in time access. So we need to add VMs over here. So let me refresh this web page. We should be able to see the VMs. Configure it. So let's refresh this page. Okay, it seems the uh, Ubuntu VM, the Ubuntu VM which we have created somehow is not supported. Okay, so maybe due to the version of the Ubuntu operating system we have selected, it might not be supported. So let's do one thing. Let's quickly create a new VM. And we'll create a Windows VM this time. Okay, we are using, we created Ubuntu 20. Because of that, it, the issue might have occurred. So let's change this to Windows Server 22. And this time I won't need to increase RAM and CPU. Let's set up the user ID and password. Let's not allow any port for now. Let's create this VM. Right. So now in unconfigured uh, section, I can see Windows as well as the Linux machine was not, which was not visible. That is also available. Okay. Not sure how or what changed. Maybe. We just enabled Defender and the backend APIs would be getting enabled. And because of that, Linux wasn't listed. It was an in unsupported tab. But now, after creating the Windows machine, I have, seen, I have Windows as well as Linux for just in time access. Okay, so I will, ena I will enable just in time access for this scenario on Windows machine. So you click on enable. And you can see what, what all ports you can allow. So you can do it for port 3389. All right, this is for uh, the PowerShell connectivity. Uh, five nine eight five or uh, five nine eight six. Okay, 
So in this scenario, I will choose 338 time because I just want to do RDP and the maximum time would be, let's say three hours. Okay, the just in time access would be allowed only for three hours whenever someone calls you log into the screen. Okay, and I'll say save. Okay, and the just in time access is enabled for this machine. Now, if I go to the Windows machine, and if I go to the network security group of the Windows machine, okay, there is no rule or right as of now, okay, which allows 3389, okay. There is a deny rule, but there is no allow rule as of now, okay. Now, let's say that I have a user in Active Directory. Let's create the user version active directory or let's check out the user version active directory. Uh, for this demo, I'll use this user. Okay, or I can use this user. Yeah, let's use this user. Okay, let's say this user wants to access the Windows machine. Okay, and he wants to use just in time access to allow the necessary rules. Okay, so that he can do RDP. And there's that those rules in network security group would be available for three hours. Okay. So in order for this user Bruce to activate just in time access or enable the request for just in time access, he would have he would need to have certain permissions. Okay. So at the subscription level, I'll go to identity and access management or access control. Okay. And first let me check this what role this user has. I search for I search for Bruce. So this user as of now doesn't have any access. Okay. So we'll say add role assignment. And let's make him just in time access. We'll give him just in time access related permission. So let's search for this object. If we are not able to find directly from JIT, then we'll search for security. And we can make him security, let's say admin or security contributor. For this demo, I'll make the user security admin. Okay. Please. Let's make the user security admin and I'll search for the user. So basically the user should have uh, the just-in-time network access policy permission uh, just in time, uh, virtual machine permission, network interface card permission. Okay, so all these permissions are part of security admin role. So I'll assign the security admin role to this user. And I'll click on review and assign the permission. Now I'll log in as this user. Okay, let's go to portal.io.com and let's type rules at the rate the magic informatica.com type in the password and now this user should ideally be able to ask for just in time access so let's go to Defender. And workload protection. Okay. And over here you can see one Windows VM and I can Basically, select this VM and click on request access. Okay, and let's say that I want to enable port 3389 for this uh, demo. Okay, 
I can put a justification. Let's say I'll say working on some installation. This is the reason why I want to uh I want to request access. Okay, so I get an error saying that I don't have following permission. I don't have compute admin related permission or virtual machine related permission. Okay. So let's quickly give the virtual machine related permission to the user. I don't security admin would cover it, but seems that's not right. For this user again, let me just say add role assignment one more time. Let's search for virtual machine and let's make this user virtual machine contributor. Let's search for Bruce. Okay, and we have assigned the permission. Now this might take some time to reflect the permission, but still I'll try to click on open port one more time. Okay, it went through and the request is initiated, which means now if I go to the virtual machine, we refresh this page. Let me get the direct URL. So after applying permission, it doesn't work immediately. Go to this Windows machine. And in the network setting, I would be able to see an allow room. And so source IP, it has my IP address. And this allow will be would be there for next three hours. And after three hours, this go allow room will go up. Which means that now if I try from my IP address, I would be able to do RDP to this Windows machine. So if I open RDP client, I'm able to do RDP. So it is asking me password. Okay, which means the connection went through. So this is how you configure just in time access, okay, for virtual machine access. Okay, you can do it. Do it for Windows as well as the same process can be done for Linux machines as well. Okay, with this, I'll conclude the video.